Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today's two minute tip I think is life changing for us crafters who love stencils. Particularly when you like to work with a more delicate stencil like this one. Because I was using one the other day in a Gina K video and when you have those kind of delicate areas you can easily kind of get that stencil leakage underneath and you don't get that nice crisp area. And it really also depends on the medium you're using. But Web have released Pixie Spray. And Pixie Spray is a light adhesive that you can use on the back of your stencils to let them adhere down and it stops all of those kind of issues where medium can go underneath your stencil. Well, how do you use it? Super simple. Take your stencil and let's remove it out of the packaging. This is the cargo sleeve from Brutus Monroe that I like to store my stencils in. And you're gonna to want to spray it in something. Now it could be an old cardboard box. I like working in a splat box because I can collapse this down and I just pop it in my kind of like bookcase unit and it's really easy to store. And the worst thing you want is adhesive overspray because I have some on the surface behind me and I cannot get rid of it. So make sure you spray into something, give your pixie spray a good shake, make sure in a well ventilated area because there's tons of warnings on the back of it. So just make sure you have lots of ventilation and um, give it a good shake. And then you're gonna want to spray backwards and forwards. Give it a reasonably generous coat just like this. Like that. So I can see that I've got a nice coating on my stencil. And then if you read the back of it, it says spray 12 inches from your stencil, apply adhesive, and then allow about a minute to dry. Now I found I didn't need a whole minute, but you can kind of gauge that. And again, it depends on your surface, depends on your stencil. Um, I found the humidity makes a difference. All those kinds of things um, make a difference. The best thing to do is just kind of touch the back and you'll feel when it gets tacky. Um, mine is starting to go tacky already. Kind of feel the center, see when it's kind of getting to that point. And what you can do is you can pop it down onto your surface here. Also, of course, means no more taping anything down. But you can see there's no flapping around. My stencil is nicely adhered onto my surface and it's a lightweight tack too. So it's not gonna be anything heavy that's gonna rip your paper, all of those kinds of things. But again, and it still allows me to move everything around. So I'm gonna take my Gina K Glitz Gel. So I'm gonna open this one up. Isn't that a beautiful gel inside there? How gorgeous does that look? And I'm gonna take my Nouveau Silicone Spatula because this is one of my favorites to work with. Less is more in this case, and we're just gonna pop it down. Now normally, when I worked with a stencil this thin, you can have issues because it has such thin areas that that stencil would start moving on me, and you could ruck it up. Particularly when some lines go this way and some lines go this way, it can be really, really difficult to work with. But Pixie uh, Spray is gonna stop all of that, which is what I love. So again, I'm just using my silicone spatula. And the other great thing about the silicone spatula is it eliminates lots of waste. You can see how clean I can scrape my stencil. And again, I'm not worrying that my stencil is gonna move, which would be my other concern, because the pixie spray is holding it in place. So there's a little bit there that's covered. And I just kind of work systematically and I'm making sure my stencil gets really clean. Really, really clean. And then I'm just gonna move this off of here and I'm gonna pick up the excess that's on my glass mat. And I'm gonna apply that to my cardstock. And again, I'm going to pick up just a little bit more paste or glitz gel, I should say. And when I work with a stencil, I like to work in areas. So I've worked in this area, now I'm working in this area, and then I'll work in this area. And I use a little bit of medium at a time. And of course you can always put it back. It also depends if you're mixing colors, because if you're mixing colors, you're gonna to want to work with a little bit because you're not going to be able to put back any excess. Whereas if you're not mixing colors, of course you can put back any excess because nothing's gonna get contaminated. So again, making sure it's nice and clean. 
put back any excess. Again, the great thing about silicone is you can get it super, super clean on the edges. Everything looks good. Pop my lid back on because I am the person who would spill this everywhere. And then we're ready to peel off our stencil. And you can see how easy this peels off. I'm just gonna hold my edge. And again, you can see that really detailed stencil. I have no bleeding because everything stuck down perfectly, which is what I love. I mean, look at that amazing detail. I'm gonna hold it like this for you. But you can see, look at this area down here. I did get it a little bit thicker up here, but that's not bled underneath the stencil. That's actually on top of the stencil. It's just where I've got a really thick piece. But nothing here has bled underneath the stencil at all, which I would have had had I not had my pixie spray down. So I am in love with this pixie spray. I think it is absolutely awesome that I can stick my stencil down, it's not going to move. And if you wanted to be able to do multiple of these, that pixie spray, I was playing around with it earlier, I could stick my stencil down multiple times before my pixie spray kind of ran out, so to speak. Um, it didn't do any damage on vellum, I tried it on some delicate surfaces and on some of the tonic handmade papers, it worked really well on those too. Um, you can't really wash off. Um, the adhesive, but what you can do is use a little bit of Goo Gone on some um, kitchen towel and it came off that way. So you can do that, but it's not gonna do any damage to your stencil either. So I am in love with Pixie Spray. Links, of course, are in the video description and all of our exclusive Hedgehog Hollow coupon codes are there too, so check those out. If you're not watching this when it was a new video, you can check out the latest coupon codes exclusive to Hedgehog Hollow viewers in one of our newest videos. Check those out on the Hedgehog Hollow channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of our daily tips, tricks, tutorials, hauls, all of those fun things here at Headshot Hollow. And if you enjoyed this two minute tip, give us a thumbs up. I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.